we start off in a nibble at this, we nibble at that, and before we, we know where we are, everything is built on, and we haven't got those pleasant spaces that we need. So I, I do hope that as the inspector, you will, when you visit the site, you will have a look and you'll appreciate what the points that the gentleman made and I have made. Oh, well, I will do that, sir. Go ahead, Can I just put any points here? It's just the points have already been made, but I don't think they can be made strong enough. The, the existing there, uh, what's there, is not really visible from the road. It just looks like a nice green area. You can see the woods in the background. If you've been there yourself, you must have seen it. Um, the, the paddock, and it's barely noticeable what's there at the moment. If this is done, it will totally change the outlook of that of that green space. Uh, and it is right you've got uh, it's Mount Road or Southern Road, similar. Uh, on one side you accept it's residential, and the other side, lovely countryside, nice views, uh, etc. So it's just going to totally as, a, as just as a residence. I'm saying that.
I think we'd like to ask the question why it was felt by the authority that it would be necessary moving forward for this specific site to be kept open in terms of the contribution it makes to the green belt as it stands. Because our view, um, which we obviously expanded on in our submissions, is that the site is contained by the landscape features which surround it. Therefore, back to what we said at the start of proceedings, we feel any impact on openness is site specific and not not the wider green belt slash the open countryside, which we feel the aim that policy is aiming to protect. Is there anything else you want uh, so, Sorry, that's just the planning side, yes. I uh, apologise, that appears to me to then um, move your discussion and uh, introduce the colleagues to touch on the um, opinions expressed by Mr Nichols on the bridge. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Uh, it was a very interesting point the representative from the Property Society made in her comments about the bridge line. It is on the bridge line, and the mercy uh, from the statement is uh, that um, the line falls away in every direction. But I think you'll also note that the society is usually being closed in that sense by the presence of stores from the, the west and south, and the houses at high end to the east, and, and uh, the African Sun property at the north. So even though it is on that high ridge line, it is actually visually enclosed. Picking up on another point about uh, bridge both the site is a private site, so it's not open to rooms and general public access, or if there is mm -hmm. public access nearby through stores and woods. And coming up to stores and woods, they're a great resource, and you know, we've worked with the woods and trust ourselves in the past. Um, you know, we, we know that they are protected and valued and there uh, for opportunity for the benefit of the local public environmental resources are well used but you know, no doubt the bridge we've got walking down this afternoon. Um, so the, the woodland is a valuable setting and, and uh, I think that uh, when you look at the guidance of in the similar landscape uh, characterisation for uh, ridge line and height of the property is going to have to be kept below those and there certainly will be for the effects of the one that's in Seriously, has to look at sites of this nature 
with my own eyes, I can see. I recommend objections to this set of revocation documents. Mr. Copeland, is there anything in that view that I have done?
what we've got on here is illustrative, but I'm taking it that what we've done is produce this because the only effective way the site can be accessed would be from Mount Road. Have I read that correctly? Um, by so the idea is to have a, um, a central access in, in this point. That would be the way you'd approach it. Um, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be about the site of course. It could be a special mention. There is a structure that allows you to make the application to move the access point according to the Transition of um, one in forty, 
there, so this was a vehicle was travelling along on suddenly faced with a, a chicane effect to get around the refuge. The one in four to the 2.5, 2.6 meter um, increase in width then translates to 100 meters in each direction. And that takes us beyond, if, if, if